After your students have completed the Becoming a Disciple Maker small group course, they will be equipped to lead a new believer or member through seven one-to-one -one sessions of a call to joy and 11 one-to-one -one sessions of a call to grow. Now you're actually going to see someone being discipled using a call to joy. Turn in your Call to Joy Disciplers Guide to page one and page one continued so you can follow along as I meet with Richard, a new Christian. Well, Richard, we're so glad that you've become a Christian and uh, also decided to work one-to-one -one with me to, to become a better Christian and we're going to help each other grow as a Christian. Right. And we'd like to give you this special book. It's entitled A Call to Joy, Timothy's Guide. And uh, we're going to grow together and I'm going to help you grow and you're also going to help me grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and start by turning to page one in your book. And I'd like to start by telling you maybe something about my, uh, my family and occupation. Um, I have a son that's uh, 26 years old and he's a history major. And also I have a daughter that's 24 and she's a choral major, a uh, master's degree in that. Mm -hmm. And also um, I like to play the piano and uh, uh, do, do different kinds of hobbies like that. Can you tell me something about your, uh, your family? Uh, well, I'm married. I've been married for four years. Uh, we, we don't have any children. Um, we enjoy getting outdoors. We like canoeing, camping. Mm. Um, so just get out and go exploring. Mm -hmm. And where do you work? Uh, I work for a phone company. Okay. For so about 11 years. Okay, good. Okay. Well, let's get right into our, our material here. Let's read Welcome a Call to Joy aloud. Can you start reading for us? If you don't feel comfortable reading, I can read uh, and you can follow along, but do you feel comfortable reading? Uh, yes. Okay, you, super. Go ahead and start reading. For uh, us. Welcome to A Call to Joy. In celebration of your desire to grow in the Christian life, you will not only receive this book, but much more importantly, receive a friend. Each time you meet together, you can enjoy Christian fellowship. During your times of discussion, prayer, and Bible study, you will have the opportunity of knowing one another better. Normally it takes from seven to ten weeks to cover this inspirational material. We pray that these will be some of the most rewarding and enjoyable weeks you have ever experienced. James 4.8 says, draw near to God and He will draw near to you. This, is, this first meeting will be very different from the rest because we want you, I'm sorry, we want to be sure that a new church member has a clear understanding of what it means to know Christ as their personal Savior. We trust that you will be enriched by this basic study, even if you have already understood all or part of its essential message. Okay, let's get right into our Bible study today, and today we're going to focus on understanding the gospel. Can you continue reading for us? Sure. Uh, understanding the gospel, uh, mankind's spiritual need. As it is written, there is none righteous, not even one. Romans 3.10. The account of man's initial disobedience to God is recorded in Genesis 2 and 3. Keep going. Okay, uh, can you go ahead and read the next verse? Uh, and the Lord your God, and the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat of it you will surely die. Okay, Genesis from that, uh, I'm sorry, That's from fine. that one verse, uh, what was the one limitation God placed on mankind? Uh, you must not eat okay. from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay, super. And what did God say would happen or the consequences of spiritual disobedience? Um, he said he'll surely die. That's right, okay. You're doing great. Let's, can you go ahead and read the next verse for us? Uh, Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because all sinned. So from that verse, how has Adam's sin affected the entire human race? Well, his sin entered the world, and death entered the world through sin, and mm -hmm. then that death spread to all men. Right. It's like Adam had a virus, and it was called sin, so it spread to all mankind. Hmm. Okay, can you continue reading for us? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans mm -hmm. 3.23. Jesus was uh, God's sinless sacrifice for our sins. Do you think anyone can ever measure up to, to Jesus Christ? 
No. That's right. Okay, continue reading for us. Uh, consequences of disobedience. Man choose to disobey God, and consequence always follows choice. There are two kinds of death explained in the Bible. One is physical, which we will look at in a moment, and the other is spiritual, which the Bible is talking about in Romans 6.23. It says, For the wage, wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay, super. Uh, a wage is something you what? A wage is something you... You earn. Okay. So, really, spiritual death is actually deserved. That's why mm -hmm. when an unrepentant sinner dies without Christ, they're eternally separated from God. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're doing great. Um, and as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. Okay, super. Thank you. Okay, we're going to give you a chance to experience the one-to-one -one materials by role-playing again. Break back into your teams of two. Again, those of you on my right are disciplers number one. Raise your hands. You're going to use the A Call to Joy Disciplers Guide and present pages three and four to your teammate, who will represent a new Christian. Those of you on my left, you are disciplers number two. Raise your hands. You'll be using the A Call to Joy Timothy's Guide as discipler number one leads you through pages three and four. Turn to page three of your Call to Joy Timothy's Guide so they can lead you through those pages. Now, again, discipler number one, when you arrive at page five in your discipler's guide, simply change roles with your teammate so discipler number two can become the leader and you will become the Timothy for the rest of the session, just as you did with becoming a disciple maker. Again, discipler number one, when you arrive at page five in your disciplers guide, simply change roles with your teammate so discipler number two can become the leader and you will become the Timothy for the rest of the session, just as you did with becoming a disciple maker. Okay, you can start. I'll look forward to being with you during the next section.